What's going on guys, MDLP from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami where strength is everything. Making a video for my buddy Bob. Um, I don't like saying buddy, I didn't even mean to say that. He's a friend of mine. Um, so, they were discussing about how to make, they're gonna start their own uh, Strongman Gym uh, up in Georgia, they're gonna do their own thing because I guess gyms around the area didn't have what they needed, etc. I've made a few videos about how to do this uh, how I did it, especially, um, and they're a while ago, so I have no problem making them again. I would recommend that you look into the video about barbells. So if you follow me on YouTube, um, all the barbells you'll need, one and two, I really highly suggest. Um, those are the barbells that I started with, uh, especially if you're going to do a strongman and or powerlifting gym, but we'll go over that quickly. So this is the format that I use to start my place. Um, I've seen a lot of people use the same format throughout time. Maybe I don't get the credit for them. Uh, but I know how, where I got it from um, and the same concepts as far as Intellectually and how to start small and equipment. I got that from Elliot Hulse too way back in the day four to five years ago when he was making these um, back in his um, Old strength camp, so that's another person to look into so I'll go ahead and start I'm gonna be walking around so bear with me one of the first things I did I know that you have a yoke up there that you can customize so that's huge I think that's the biggest thing. This is the R3 R2, I think, from uh, Rogue. It can be a rack, it can be a yoke, but that's pretty much it. You can use, obviously use it as the pull-up bar, but the thing is that you can use it as an extra rack, and it's a yoke, so that's huge. It's a strongman gym. You can do zerkers with it. With it. You can do pull-ups on it. You can carry it over. Um, you can load the stones over. That's probably the most quintessential piece of equipment as far as starting a strongman thing. So that right there is the R2. I don't, the R3 is much taller, I think it's useless for a, a garage gym, and the other one's much, much shorter, which I think is, is short enough that you know, most people can do it, but not a tall guy. So if you got a, a guy who's doing yoke carries over 6'3", six, 6'4", you know, six, six, he's going to have some, some difficulty with it. Sorry that I'm kind of talking really fast, I took like three shots of Cuban coffee, which is like right there. And so I'm all jacked up, but I also want to get as much information out of it. Um, Matt's. These mats are from the original ones that I got were from horse stalls. Uh, you can get them in any kind of farming supply place. The best bet is to go pick them up because if you get it via online, you're going to get raped. Now, if you have any kind of local supply feed or horse uh, supplies places, you're going to get them maybe even for 40 bucks a pop. I was very fortunate that I had a place down the street that um, sold them really cheap and a friend of mine uh, chipped in um, and got it for me as, as, as a gift. Very, very fortunate. Um, so we ended up getting like 20 for something really cheap. But I got my original 10 from a horse uh, supply place. So that's the best bet. They're the same deal, super, super durable. And they're not gonna rape you on price. You can just go pick them up. Highly suggested if you're gonna open any kind of, um, any kind of um, gym to have it matted, especially strongman where you're gonna be dropping stones. If you're gonna rent a warehouse, they're gonna give you shit for it when it thumps to the ground. If you put, a, I've dropped at least a 340 pound stone in this gym, on these mats, no problem, no cracks, nothing underneath. Double matted, you're fine, especially if you want to take the, take it outside. Um, kegs, go ahead and start looking. Uh, you can accredit this, you can just open them up, you can find them anywhere. Um, super easy to find if you just tell people that you're starting a strongman gym or you're looking for kegs. If anybody has keggers lying around, it's easy to find if you just go to like, uh, just put it up on Craigslist or Facebook. Somebody around town normally has ones lying around that they don't know what to do with. Either they'll give it to you for free. I've never paid for a keg. I've been very fortunate that people just have them lying around and I've gotten them. Um, and that's the easiest bet to get kegs, which is super essential. Tires, go to any kind of dump, you'll find them. I don't like to supply too many tires. I think one or two tires is enough. For example, that's a 900 pound tire, but it's very, um, very worn down, so it's hard to pick up. I haven't picked up that tire in over a year and a half. I just don't see the point. It's also shitty on the biceps, and they take up a fuck ton of space. So if you're gonna get a tire, get one or two good sized tires that you're not gonna challenge, maybe like a 400 and then a 700. So you can have people that are beginning lifters to do some reps, uh, or use that as a max effort, and for stronger guys, use it as like cardio and conditioning, and then the big tires for the big guys, put some weights in there if you wanna get crazy, but it takes up a lot of space and I wouldn't get more than one or two. As far as the racks are concerned, again, I got these from Rogue. 
The reason why I got them from Rogue, A, they make good products, I'm not gonna lie to you, but B, you can add shit to them. So you can add these kind of like uh, attachments, etc. These are two separate racks that I connected with a, one of the Rogue connectors. Obviously, next time I'm gonna get a little bit longer of the connector and the pull-up bar. Um, and you can add stuff to it. It's just very, very simple. Rogue makes great products, but the fact is that you can just keep adding shit to it like the dip machine, you can add, I know they got like a, some sort of like um, monolift adaption. I don't really like it, but it's there. Uh, you can put a, they even have like a low back extension, all this kind of stuff. It all works together. So if you're going to get a rack, if, if you don't have one, uh, I think Rogue is a good idea. This is the R3. They make beautiful ones like R6 and shit that are a bit more expensive, but you can't go wrong with that. Or you can just have your normal rack. I just like that I can attach stuff to it, like a, a pull-up bars and stuff. Barbells. Very fortunate to have the Texas squat bar, Texas deadlift bar. That's an old uh, rogue beater bar that I use for like, just basic lifting, Olympic lifting. Dumbbells, this has taken me several years to, to get just because dumbbells are super expensive. Um, and in Miami, it's just hard to come by gym equipment. It really is. I, there's a lot of gyms, but most of the gyms here are bodybuilding gyms, which are not gonna get rid of their dumbbells, or CrossFit gyms who have no dumbbells or very little dumbbells. So you always have to travel a little bit further north, Orlando, Tampa, and that kind of stuff gets a little difficult because they sell them for really expensive and you gotta travel to pick up three, four, five, six, seven hundred pounds of weights and I don't drive a sweet ass truck, I drive an old Honda Accord that I'm gonna run into the ground. All those barbells extras that I have, again, this comes with time. I made a video about the barbells, please check that out. But the log, the farmers, I know you probably have some already that you're making. Um, try to look on Craigslist. Rogue makes cheap stuff. Beast Metals makes good stuff. Um, who else? That's pretty good. Pitbull, obviously. These kind of companies that are up and coming, um, they're gonna put good stuff out there that are just pretty, they're gonna last forever in straw man. Or I know you can make stuff too, Bob, so. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. I have a couple pyramids here. Always have a dry erase port because it looks cool. It makes you look like a scientist. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as products are concerned. The stones are there. I made those myself. Uh, I got the, the casing and stuff from Rogue. Uh, the molds. And then I had some people, like when it came to the 300, 340s, I started asking around for people to make them for me. Sandbags, Iron Mine. The other two are homemade with Army duffel bags. Bulgarian uh, sandbags, those are with inner tubes that you can just get anywhere. Again, these are specifics, but you can find a lot of information on how to make your own sandbag, how to make Bulgarian sandbags. You know, it's fucking, social media is literally the encyclopedia of the you know 21st century, so it's really easy to find this kind of stuff. But I started very simple, I started very small, and very efficient, and very practical. So anything that I can do a lot with and save space, then it makes sense to me, right? So the R3 or the Rogue product, everything's attachable. So I had the dip machine, I, I could put bands up top, I had a bench, I got the bench, I had a barbell, it has extra clips, I can work both sides of the rack, so I always put it where you can work somebody on this side and somebody can be working on this side and you guys don't really run into each other except you make that weird eye contact when you're squatting and it's no homo because you're bros and you kind of wink or whatever and get weird. Um, the yoke is super, this R3 is a genius thing. Um, again, Beast Meadows make a similar kind, and so, so does Rogue, where you can kind of mess with it. I know you had one on your own, but that's great. Reverse Hyper, when you have time and you have space, you can't really miss out on that. That's a good, it's expensive, but it's a good piece of equipment. And that's it, everything else you see, like the rower, the tons of plates, the mats, circus dumbbells over there, plyo boxes, that came with time that it didn't really just I didn't really need at the beginning. Um, if you're a competitive strongman like you, you already probably already have your eye on things that you need for training. Um, you're gonna need all the implements you can get, uh, and they take up a lot of space. So everything that's secondary, for example, barbells, uh, benches, racks, dumbbells, I don't know if I said that, plates, uh, bands, chains, uh, or row, uh, bar racks, mats, plyo boxes, all these extra different handles for your pull-up bars or whatever, or your lat pull-downs, all that stuff, bumper plates, all that stuff is gonna take up a lot of space. And as a strongman, although it's super important because we power lift all the time, it's secondary to the apparatus that you need that takes up a lot of space. Meaning, the log, the yoke, the circus dumbbell, 
stones. You can't really stack them unless you make the platforms and you can kind of roll them in. I don't have that luxury yet, but I will. Kegs take up a lot of space. Tires take up a lot of space. Um, sandbags take up space. These are all things that will be taking up a shit ton of space in your gym, but are essential if you are a strongman. If you're a power lifter, your life is very easy. You need a rack, you need one barbell, and you need plates. That's it, until you start to get really fancy, and then you can start buying all the specifics. But as far as a strongman, you will need stuff that takes up a lot of space. So everything else needs to be very condensed. Um, I hope that helps. It's pretty much how I start. I start with one rack, the yoke, the log, some stones. The log actually came much later. And I try to keep as many things compact as I could. Um, if you're at your level, you probably won't really need too many small dumbbells or maybe like, like 10 through 30 and then some 45s and some 55s, some 100s. Um, try to keep everything really condensed at secondary and then buy a lot of cool shit that takes the space. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's much more that I would suggest for you. Um, what's really helped out for me is owning a gym. This area here is about 900 square feet. I know it looks a lot bigger when it's in, on camera, but it's about 900 square feet. The thing that has been the most efficient, that has multiplied space, is getting stuff off the ground. Building shelves, stuff, racks and chains off the ground, racks of the barbells, racks over there in the corner, pyramids. See all that space those dumbbells are taking on the floor? That fucking kills me. But because I have so many dumbbells, I can't put them all on a, on a rack. Um, see, circus dumbbells take up space. At least the boxes can stack up. Stones take up space there. All that shelving has really helped out a lot. I was able to take things off the floor and move up. So when you can move up, like add shelving, add stuff to put on miscellaneous, WD-40, all that shit for the stones, rags, food, refrigerator stuff, snacks, all that shit takes up space on the floor, which you're gonna need for all your apparatus. So very simple. Man, I hope that really helps us as, as, a, as the best, the easiest way I can do it. Start small. Don't get into something big, dude. You're going to regret it because when you have the stress of paying rent, you're not going to want to train or you're going to end up getting grumpy with people who don't pay to train with you. Um, just pick up something really small, really efficient. Five, six, seven hundred square feet is plenty if you're working by yourself. I know guys who have smaller than that. And just try to move things into shelves. So that's all I have. Um, thanks for waiting. It's a long fucking video, but it really helps. If you have any more questions, uh, message me. It does get a little bit more complicated as far as business plans and social media and shit. But if you're using it just for training and to have a good time as one of your passions, keep it simple. Occam's razor. Um, and make sure it just feels good and feels homey. So only get things that you really want to invest in because this shit's expensive. So hope that helps, man. Cheers.